Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley. I'm Technical Director, Director of Invisage UK Limited, and I'd like to take this opportunity to go through an event simulation example for you in uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 Ultimate. This is a simulation of one of these plastic snap and click fasteners, the type you get on uh, luggage straps and so on. So what we've got here in Fusion is um, a 3D model of the clip. I've modeled a quarter of it because it's symmetrical in two planes. And uh, if we have a look at the model, you can see the way it works. Obviously this clips into place through here on this buckle. This one's fixed, this one will be moving. So we needed to set up a, a simulation for this. So let's go into a simulation. And in Fusion 360 Ultimate, we have um, a number of uh, non-linear simulations as well. And in this case, I'm going to use the event simulation. I can change the settings on this page as well or later on. So I could change the uh, duration of the simulation, the number of steps, the type of output I want. In this instance, I'll probably want the reaction forces as well. Click on OK and that will start the, um, well, that will load the simulation environment. So we need to uh, override the materials. I know that this was designed in uh, steel originally, so we need to override these. So I'm going to use, um, I could use one of the Fusion 360 libraries, non-linear or, uh, or, or, or linear. I'm going to use my own library and choose ABS plastic from here. If I go to the properties um, of the materials, the physical properties, and have a look, you'll notice that the non-linear page, I've set up the uh, um, the data for the non-linear part of the um, uh, plastic after we get after the initial yield. I'm using the isotropic hardening rule. Okay, let's add some constraints. So we want some fixed constraints first. and some frictionless constraints on that face and that face we need to constrain in y the y direction and on this face we need to constrain in z okay now we need to add a displacement And we're going to uh, displace this face in the X direction by 31 millimeters. And I actually want to drive it from a multiplier curve. Um, so uh, as you can see, the default is that we start uh, from uh, zero up to one times the multiplier of this magnitude. So it'll go from zero to 31 millimeters, thus driving the component in the X direction. I'll finish this at um, 0.018, so we've got a little bit of time at the end for the results to settle down. So we've now got our loads and our constraints. One thing you will notice is that the pre-check is give me a warning, and it's because there are actually no uh, loads on this model. There doesn't need to be. I'm applying a displacement, um, but you can, if you want to, just put gravity on and that will um, fix the pre-check warning. Okay, so we need to uh, create the mesh. The mesh uh, is created quite quickly. It's, it's created locally on the machine. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about any refinement. The, the event simulation works extremely well with the mesh that you supply it. Uh, Autodesk um, software engineers have done a fantastic job on event simulation. And this is ready to go, so we would solve this and we solve this on the cloud. Um, this, the, the, this, um, an event simulation cannot be solved locally. This is solved on the cloud, and it will take about half an hour to an hour to solve. I haven't got that time here, so we're going to move on to one I've created already. And uh, as you can see, I'm showing the von Mises stresses at the moment. And as I move the slider, you'll see the uh, event simulation taking place. Let's just move this over here. Um, we can also um, change the uh, limits of the uh, legend, should we wish. Uh, we can also um, animate this and record it as a video. 
and we can also show the output as a chart um, which is extremely useful as you can see here we've got a chart of the volumizer stress against the steps uh, on the simulation itself um, I can also have a look at the uh, reaction forces Uh, we can also um, add uh, probes, so I can probe that surface for instance, I can also in show the minimum and maximum values, and of course we can produce a report. So this is our simulation of a plastic snap and click buckle, and uh, this is um, produced from uh, using Fusion 360 Ultimate in the new event simulation add-in. Um, the uh, software can be purchased here from us in the UK. Uh, there's my email address if you wish to contact me about anything. And uh, thank you very much for your time.